Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby Molinax and today I'm going to be sharing with you my first pregnancy update, but this is my second baby. Um, I'm going to, I cannot commit to the every week update because I just do not have the time for that, but I am going to do an, um, an each trimester update. And I might sprinkle in a few more, like if it's halfway or, you know, cause towards the end you do change a lot. So, uh, but I'm probably going to stick to first, second and third trimester update. Um, and the reason that I really wanted to make these is because I followed, um, a couple people during my first pregnancy and I followed their updates every single week because it was brand new to me. I had never had a baby before and I had no idea what to expect. I wanted to compare and contrast. Oh, they're having a boy. Is it different? Oh, they're having a girl. We are the same here. We're not the same there. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. One of the many pleasures of being pregnant. But anyways, so I am really excited to do this, keep up with it, and maybe for future kids, if we have any, that um, I can look back on this and compare them to. So let's get right on into it. Okay, let's start with how many weeks I am. I just um, entered into my second trimester, so I am 12 weeks and um, let's see, I turned 12 on Saturday. I'm 12 weeks and two days today. So I guess technically I'm still in my first trimester. But um, out of the scary period, thank goodness. As far as right now, I'm feeling pretty good. But let's just talk about the beginning. It's terrible. Okay, it is like the beginning, the first trimester. I remember thinking this. In, um, with Sawyer who is my daughter she's my first baby and I remember thinking towards the end um, I had only gained like 25 28 pounds with her so that could have something to do with it but I remember the day I went into labor with her thinking wow the first trimester was 10 times harder than the third and I was I was preparing myself for it to get worse with every stage and I thought the third especially the last couple weeks would be terrible and I mean they it's uncomfortable because of how much weight you're you're gaining and you're waddling and swelling and blah 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 but it was nothing like there's nothing like being sick I was really sick with Sawyer but for this pregnancy I was sick until about 10 weeks every single day. I never threw up, but I felt sick all day, every day. Um, and after 10 weeks, it slowly um, got better. And now I've probably been nauseated maybe three or four times since 10 weeks, um, which kind of, that's only two weeks ago, so that doesn't sound too good. But hey, when you've had it every single day, I'll take four times in two weeks. So, um, Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, it is a boy. Yay! The reason we know that, because I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, you're only 12 weeks, how do you know that? Um, we did the early gender reveal. Um, it's a blood test and it's called Sneak Peek. And if you haven't heard of it, I would Google it if you don't know the sex of your baby yet, but, uh, but you're not 16 weeks yet. Definitely look into it because it's $80, but if, and it's like 99.5, percent correct and if it's wrong you get your money back so it's a win-win because if this baby turns out to be a girl I'll just get my refund um so anyways look into that um but we did do that when I was about when I was about 10 or 11 weeks and found out that it is a boy but what the weird thing is when I first got pregnant I was thinking back to the way I felt with Sawyer and I was like this baby is either twins or is a boy. It's not a girl. But, so my mother intuition was telling me that, but all of my symptoms have been the exact same. Um, not all of them. There's been a little bit, but like I was sick, I was tired, and even like my aversions have been the exact same. I don't want any sweets, and it surprised me because you hear about these people who have, um, go to McDonald's in the middle of the night and get a bl blizzard like I, I wish I had that I don't like the only thing that I want are like carbs cheese <laughs> like everything bad for you that you could ever want besides sweets is what I want like I don't 
I, and fruit. I do love fruit. Oh, um, okay. One difference in the last pregnancy and this pregnancy is that um, last time I felt like I got more sad. My, but like for this time, my tendency is to get more mad, which is not good for Trey, my husband. I'm sorry, Trey. But um, I don't know if that has something to do with like the testosterone in this baby. Like it's making me do different things. I don't know. But um, I'm ready for <laughs> that to be over and to kind of level out. And also, um, my boobs have been starting to hurt, which did not happen at all with Sawyer. But it's been the past couple of weeks my boobs have been starting to hurt, so that's one yucky symptom. Uh, stretch marks, I have no stretch marks yet, I, I, but I probably will get them this time. I didn't with Sawyer, um, but I honestly, I'm surprised because they run in my family on both sides. Everyone has stretch marks, and so I think it was a fluke that I didn't get it, but I'm just doing what I did last time. I use um, coconut oil. Uh, all over and then I use the mama bee uh, tummy butter that's all I do and every once in a while maybe once every week or once every two weeks I use um, an exfoliator just whatever I buy um, right now I'm using Dove because I, I have very um, sensitive skin so and I have to use Dove soap so I was just like I'll just get their um, little salt exfoliator and I exfoliate my tummy, put co uh, coconut oil on it, and then the um, tummy butter. But that's it. So I probably will get it this time, just stretch marks, just trying to prepare myself because they are genetic. Also, another thing that I have been experiencing is uh, sleep insomnia. I have, it's not every single night, but I definitely do not, I have not been sleeping very well which um, I remember it happening sometimes with Sawyer, but it did go away toward, and then it came back towards the end, of course. But, uh, so I'm ready for, I'm just, I'm just glad I made it to the second trimester because if, it, if this pregnancy is anything like my last pregnancy, I didn't, I didn't even know I was pregnant most of the time during the second trimester because it was a breeze. Like I didn't have any kind of symptoms and so it probably won't happen this time because I feel like you can't look out twice. That's really all of the updates that I have pregnancy wise. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I'm definitely showing, you'll see in the belly shot, um, which I showed really fast with Sawyer. Uh, so it don't surprise me plus this is my second baby so y'all be nice to me because I know that I look I am a lot of people who are pregnant right now are way smaller than me but it is my second baby and who knows I mean my Trey my husband is six four and I'm five um, five six so I don't see this baby being little but um, why don't we do the belly drop okay like I said um, this is me my second baby, let me try to, I did not wear a good shirt for this, but yeah, this is it. Here's the belly. Definitely showing already, so I'm probably gonna be huge. So that is it with the pregnancy slash life update video <laughs> that I did. Um, I'm really excited for the upcoming things that are gonna be happening, so make sure that you are subscribed and that your bell notifications are turned on so that you are completely up to date with everything that's going on. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.